Hello, my name is Stiley Hayward. I would like to welcome you to the Blessed Hope Ministry. We are a King James grounded family Bible study. These lessons are not to be a substitute for regular church attendance. Nightly I direct my family through the Bible by chapter and verse. We request you to join us and to study from God and His Son Jesus Christ. You may have permission to like, send, or encourage our studies with family or friends. Edification of what God has and what He desires in our life. Study to show thyself approved unto God. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly divine the word of truth. You may use our studies, but I request that you do not abuse them. For YouTube videos, subscribe below for more videos. And place the thumbs up and leave a comment or email me. Thank you. Numbers chapter 34. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Command the children of Israel. It's been Israel, 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 Israel. Say unto them, When ye come into the land of Cana, this is the land that shall fall unto you for an inheritance, even the land of Cana, with the coast thereof. Now we read the journeys. Now we're going to lay the lines on the map of the land of Israel. And chapter 34 needs to be laid out before the Catholic Church, needs to be laid out before the United Nations, needs to be played out among the Arabians in the Middle East, because this is what God says is their land. This is what God says. Your south quarter. In some of these places, you can draw out on the map. They're known today. Some of them may not be. Your south quarter shall be from the wilderness of Zin, along by the coast of Eden. Eden can be found on the maps. And your south border shall be the utmost coast of the Salt Sea, that's the Dead Sea, eastward. Your border shall turn from the south to the extent of Akrabim and pass on to Zin. And the going forth thereof, thereof shall be from the south of Kadesh Barnea. Kadesh Barnea. That's where the spies went in. That's not where Israel went in. But that's where the spies went in. And shall go on to Hazer Adar and pass on to Asma. And the border shall fetch a compass from Asmon onto the river of Egypt. Now, you got, this river of Egypt, that's not the Nile. And it was interesting, when I, when I went to Bible school, it was drawn out. You will find on some maps of Palestine, Middle East, wherever that map will be called, there is a little river uh, where, the, where they have the Palestines are. You check it out. Some maps have got that. It is just a little river of Egypt there. I don't, it doesn't go to Egypt. It's just funny why it says Egypt. And the goings out of it shall be at the sea, Mediterranean Sea. And as for this western border, ye shall even have the great sea, Mediterranean Sea. Now, see, when you read these Bibles, you've got to realize some places like men have two, three, four names. As of today, you got a state, and within the state, you got county. Within a county, you've got towns and cities. And as for the western border, ye shall ye shall even have the great sea for a border. This shall be your west border. Then you can rule out the PLO. They're not to be there. And if they threaten Israel with, with missiles over the border, we're not to say that's okay. God will take care of him. He will curse them that curses Israel. And this shall be your north border. From the great sea, even shall point out for you Mount Hor. Remember what happened to Mount Hor? That's where uh, Aaron died. And from Mount Hor ye shall point out your border unto the entrance of Hamath. And the goings forth of the, the border shall be to Zedab. Z yeah, yeah. 
And here's another Mount Horror to think about. That's north. Probably two Mount Horrors. That'd be interesting. And the border shall go unto Zephron, and the goings out of it shall be at Hazareth, Hazareth, and this shall be your north border. So we start off the Dead Sea, we go all the way east to the Great Sea, Mediterranean. We follow the coast of the Mediterranean Sea, and we start going east again for the north. And you shall point out your east border from Hazareth to Sephron. And the coast shall go down from Sephon to Rigla. That's a famous place in the Bible. On the east side of Aen. And the border shall descend and shall reach onto the sea, onto the side of the Sea of Chinnereth. Now what's that? That's the Sea of Galilee. The sea of Galilee, sea of, and there's another name given in the Bible. I, I don't have that one marked here. As we go through the Bible, we'll see that this name, I believe this body of water has four actual names in the Bible. That's, that's the Sea of Galilee. That's where Jesus Christ was. Eastward. And the border shall go down to Jordan. That's the Jordan River. And the goings out of it shall be at the Salt Sea. That's the Dead Sea. So the eastern and the western border of the land of Israel that you can lay out and know is the Mediterranean Sea and the, uh, the Jordan River. Anything else? And the border shall go down to Jordan, and the goings out of it shall be at the Salt Sea. This shall be your land. This land is your land. Stole it out of the Bible. This is my land, the Jews can say. I'm not talking about America either. With the coast thereof round about. That's it. There's their land. And Moses commanded the children of Israel saying, This is the land which ye shall inherit by lot, which the Lord commanded, which the Lord commanded to give unto the nine tribes and to the half tribe. Notice how it says the Lord commanded. Because two and a half tribes say we don't want it. And it says God commanded. Now, like I said, when we read later on about Reuben, Gad, and the half tribe of Manasseh, we're going to say Joshua's going to say the land that Moses gave them, not God. They were supposed to go in. For the tribe of the children of Reuben, according to the house of their fathers, and the tribe of the children of Gad, according to the house of their fathers, have received their inheritance. And half the tribe of Manasseh have received their inheritance. Two tribes and a half tribe have received their inheritance on this side Jordan near this side Jordan near Jericho eastward toward the sun rising. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, These are the names of the men which shall divide the land unto you. Eliezer the priest and Joshua the son of Nun. Now these are going to be the men that are going to go into the promised land and they're going to set the map. So you got to mark these men's names. Twelve men of each tribe are standard by God to say that that land, I don't care what the United Nations say, I don't care what the president say, I don't care what the Queen of England says, I don't care what anybody says. God the Father, through Joshua, and these twelve men and the high priest, that land belongs to Israel. And if you do not have anything that land to Israel, God says, I will curse them that curse you. And the United Nations that is against Israel that God is going to curse sits in the city of America, New York. And God cannot bless America allowing a, na a nation of people gather together against Israel. Because I will curse them that curse you. That would have to be the first thing you have to do to get a revival in America. Kick the United Nations out. Let them go hang out with the Pope. Let them go hang out with the Middle Easterns. That's their crowd. These are the names of the men which shall divide the land unto you. Eliezer the priest. He's not. He's going to be not. He, he's the high priest. He's the one in charge. He's the one that is under God once Moses dies. When Moses dies, Eliezer is the one between God and him. 
And Joshua the son of Nun, that will be your national leader. You shall take one prince of every tribe to divide the land by inheritance. Now here we go. The names of the men are these. Of the tribe of Judah. Old man Caleb. <laughs> there he is. Him and Joshua went in, Carnish being there, he went in there as the 12 spies and two of them that said, God can do it. Let's go. 10 spies says, no, we cannot do it. This man is over 80 years old. The son of Jephonah. Now, when we read in Joshua that this land is given to Caleb, in the background, these 12 men are going to be working with Joshua as they lay out the tribe. He's going to say, go out in the land, describe the land, put it in a book, and we're going to cast locks, as God has said. And when they're doing that, these 12 men are there, and one of those men that are there doing the lock casting is Caleb. Not only did Caleb get to go in the promised land, not only did Caleb get the mountain that he wanted, not only did Caleb get the kick giant butt, but Caleb got in there and had part of setting the landmarks of the children of Israel that Solomon writes in the book of Proverbs. You better not change that landmark. And one of those landmarks was set by Caleb. So here he is. Verse 17, which shall divide the land. The name of the men are these of the tribe of Judah, Caleb, the son of Jephunneh. That's where Jesus comes from. Judah. Of the tribe of the children of Simeon. Shimeel, the son of Aminadab, of the tribe of Benjamin, Elidad, the son of Shishon, of the prince of the tribe of the children of Dan, Bukai, Bukai, the son of Jogodai, the prince of the children of Joseph, for the tri for the children of Manasseh, Heniel, the son of Ephod, of the prince of the tribe of Ephraim, Keniel, the son of Shiphtan. And the prince of the tribe of the children of Zebulun, Elizaphan, the son of Pardak. The prince of the tribe of the children of Issachar, Patil, the son of Azan. The prince of the tribe of the children of Asher, Ahidah, the son of Shilami. The prince of the tribe of the children of Nephtali, Pahel, the son of Aminahad. These are they, these are they, Caleb. These are they whom the Lord commanded to divide the inheritance unto the children of Israel in the land of Canaan. When they get in there. Joshua and Caleb not only were the two spies that represented God. Let's go in there. Let's exhort the people to fight. They're going to go into the promised land. And they're going to be part of the people of the ancients that set those lines. So when... Uh, I always get good because there's two names. Ahab. I think it's Ahab. King Ahab. When he goes to, he says, oh, I want this land for uh, for a herb garden. I can't think of his name now. The one that Jezebel killed. Nabal. He, Nabal. he said, Naboth said, I cannot sell that land. That land is my father's land. The law says I cannot do it. And that land had been started by Joshua. And Caleb and one of these men. 